Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And many of us know someone who has breast cancer or we know someone with a loved one with the disease. I want you to take a look at these numbers right now. About one in eight women in the U.S. is expected to develop invasive breast cancer over the course of her lifetime. For this year alone, an estimated 287,000 women are expected to be diagnosed with the disease in the U.S. A man's lifetime risk of breast cancer is 1 in 833. About 2,700 men are expected to be diagnosed this year. Here at home, there is support for those battling with the disease. Yep, Breast Friends, a program that's been around for roughly a decade, is aiming to support breast cancer survivors. Our Patrick Johnstone tell us more about the program and how they can use your help. 35 years ago, I was first diagnosed with breast cancer. 35 years ago, Elizabeth Hardin received a lumpectomy or a partial mastectomy. Since then, she has tried to find a way to live comfortably. It was about 33 years that I went with just trying to fill my bra with something so I'd have some kind of balance. And that really plays a big part in your psyche and how you feel about yourself. About two years ago, she met so Amy Goldson, who is the mastectomy fitter for breast friends. I can't express well enough how important this has been for me, and I think it would be for anyone who chose to come here. To be able to look at myself and not cringe, it's just a miracle. It really is to be able to feel whole again. The program has been running for a decade, and in that time, Goldson, the only one who does fittings, has fit more than 1,000 women for prosthetics and bras. It's something that most people don't think of, but once a woman has gone through all of this, it's so important that she be able to put her clothes on, that the clothes fit, you know, right, that she feels comfortable. And this program provides its services at no cost to the women. When I found out about the service they offer here, it was like a miracle. Just was for me, it was a miracle. But the program relies entirely on donations to operate. So what you see here and what we continue to do is all based on the generosity of this community. Um, fundraising events, uh, personal donations, that's what keeps this program running. And it is a very expensive program. Breast Friends is the only place south of San Antonio breast cancer survivors can get the prosthetics and bras they need. Goldson hopes this month, when people are thinking pink, they can help them help others. When money is given to this program, every dollar given, penny for penny, goes to buy more bras and prosthesis, which is used for women here in South Texas that have a desperate need for it. Patrick Johnstone, Chris X News. Goldson says on average bras and prosthetics aren't cheap. For one woman, it costs the program around $250. Oh, and for more information on how you can donate to help this program, head to our website at ChrisTV.com.